In this video, you will learn how to generate clustered column chart or clustered bar chart in Microsoft Excel. Currently, you can see here I have generated this clustered column chart using this set of data. It is the data about the effect of storage on turbidity. First column shows the storage days, while the remaining column shows the effect of different temperatures on the turbidity value of nano emergence. Additionally, if I click on any bar series, then you can see here the green color bar shows the effect of 4 degree centigrade on turbidity. Similarly, if I click on red one, then it indicates the effect of 15 degree centigrade temperature on the turbidity value. So let's learn how to create clustered column chart or clustered bar chart in Microsoft Excel. Sometimes it is also called clustered column graph or clustered bar graph. So let's start this tutorial. If this video is helpful for you, then please like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. In a separate sheet, I have already entered the data to save time. To generate clustered column chart, firstly select this data. Now you can see here I have selected this data. Go to insert tab and under insert tab you will find the option of charts and from charts on the upper corner you will find the option of insert column or bar chart. Select this one and from here I will select clustered column chart. Select this one. Now you can see here Microsoft Excel has generated a graph but it is not according to our expectation because it did not plot the data accurately. To fix this problem, simply I will remove this one. Firstly, to solve this problem, I will intentionally left this cell blank. I will remove storage days. Now you can see here, I have left this cell blank. After that, again, repeat this procedure and you will observe that our problem will be removed. Select this data. Remember that you should left this cell blank. Go to insert. Again, go to clustered column or bar chart option here. Now you can see here Excel has accurately plot this data. I will place it here. Now you will learn how to conditionally format this graph according to your requirement. Firstly, go to chart element option, which is the plus sign. And from here, I want to insert axis titles, so I will select this one. After that, I don't want grid lines, so I will deselect this one. Similarly, you can select any option from this list according to your desire. Now click on chart title. Put equal sign and select the cell which contain title. You can also manually write anything in formula bar and press enter instead of this. Press enter. Now you can see here it is the title. Go to home tab and from here you can bold it. You can change its color and font style. After that I will change the axis titles. Select this one. Write anything in formula bar. For example it shows the turbidity. Press enter and format it according to your requirement. 12 bold. Now you can copy this format using format winter option and click here. This access title will be formatted like this one. Click on formula bar and write storage days. Press enter. Now click on this graph and here you will find the option of chart design. Click here. From here you will find different option. First one is the chart styles. You can select any style using these options. Here is a useful option of quick layouts. You can select any one to quickly format your graph according to these ones. And if you want to change the colors, you can use these color schemes. These are inbuilt color schemes and you can also change the color according to your requirement by conditional formatting. You will learn later part of this video. Now you will learn how to format x-axis and y-axis. Select this one. Right click. 
here you will find a option of format axis in format axis you will find minimum value and maximum value you can adjust minimum and maximum value using this option for example currently the minimum value is 0 and i want to change it to 0 0.1 so i will write 0 0.1 in minimum value click anywhere now you can see here the minimum value is changed now select it again and here you will find the option of fill and line click here from here go to line option and select solid line scroll down from here you can choose the color of line i will select black now you can adjust the width using this option i will select 1.5 pt again go to axis option and if i scroll down here you will find the option of tick marks i want to insert tick marks on outside again outside major and minor type tick marks after doing that click on x axis and repeat the similar procedure go to fill a line option select solid line choose black color and select width 1.5 pt now select this one axis values and format it according to your requirement copy this format using format mentor option click here it will be formatted like this one now click on legends right click go to format legend option and from here you can choose the location of legends top left right i will select top i will close this one additionally you can also change the font size of this legend using these options now you will learn how to format these bars click on any bar now you can see here one data series is selected place your cursor on that particular bar which you have selected right click go to format data series option and from here go to fill and line option select solid fill you can choose any color for example i will choose purple now you can see here it color is changed to purple now i will select green its color will be changed to green if i scroll down you will find the option of solid line select this one and from here you can choose the color of border i will select black and you can adjust the width of this line 1.5 pt similarly select other data series and repeat similar procedure and from here you can choose solid fill and select any color you can repeat this procedure for remaining data series now if i go to this option which is the series option here you will find two options series overlap and gap width you can select these option according to your requirement and select the width of these bars and the gap between them for example if i choose series overlap to zero click here now you can see here the gap between these bar is zero select again and from here gap width you can adjust the width of these bars for example if i move it here now you can see here these are wider and if i move in opposite direction then their width will be decreased so by using this option you can easily adjust the width of this bar so that's the end of this video thanks for watching this video